Howdy, y'all! You ready for a vacation? Finally? Well, Spyro Sp seems a little stressed. Spyro looks like he's trying to escape. It's okay, bud. Escape You'll get to the beach scorch. eventually. Oh. Hey, we're not at the portal. Hmm, where are we? Would you like me to take you to a is Alora the portal? You, oh. Alora is the Great. teleportation <laughs> method to the portal. Oh. There we go. Okay. That, that weird? Yes, Thanks, that saves, saves us. Uh, all them planes is kind of big. That saves us the trip to go up the ladders and stuff. Was there always a fast travel Alora system? Yeah. Oh. I totally forgot. Sorry, Alora. You weren't yeah, it's not. It's, it's not, not really that... Uh, common. It's now Scorch, uh, the companion level to Shady Oasis that we did last time. Um, it has humans. Hansel and Gretel, I presume? Yes, that's correct. Well, I mean, <laughs> that's a big mouth. Look, Gretel, he can't help himself. You're gonna looked, have to cut them loose. Mm, they look bo both more cute and more creepy than the original. <laughs> um, in, in the in the in the beta version that got leaked, uh, it was, it's revealed. This is new information that yeah. these uh, secret agents got sent to Scorch from Shady Oasis. The hippos sent them. Oh, oh they sent the children, the secret agents. Yeah. So that's, what? I mean, that, that, that they were secret agents, we knew, but yeah. that they were sent death by Shady Oasis, that's new information. Uh, hippos, we gotta talk about your ethics committee. That seems like a bad call. Also, that seems like a pretty easy level to skip right there. All right, yeah, in the original we were able to, to get to the end pretty quickly, so now in Reignite it, let's try, uh, try our best. Certainly, they wouldn't have blocked that. Um, oh. It's gonna be hard, isn't it? No, it, it's that, that, that that's hard. perfect hover is it's pretty easy. The problem here, though, is that we can't go go across over the bridge anymore. That bridge is totally locked up, so we have to take a longer route here by doing a a part uh, part wall part glide. <clears throat> a wall glide, and we have to do press this button with a cutscene we can't skip to lower the bridge. Okay. Unfortunately. But we do skip like uh, half the level by by doing that that first perfect hover, so we just uh, walk to the end. So a little more work involved, but you know, if we were uh, tool assist botting here, we could probably make it similar to. Yeah, sure. If if they they can find a way to skip the bridge, then uh, it's a pretty fast level. It's no problem. There you go, kid. Go and, save uh, yourself, please. Huh? They're they're ready for Spyro. Spyro is a hard man, <laughs> staring down the barrel. Alright, now we can do the level for real. Scorch. Welcome to Scorch. Yeah, surrounded by sand, no water here. I mean, obviously that's where you're gonna find Hansel and Gretel. How are pods? You like the way I speak? I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do a war climb. I think there's a switch in the tower that will open the door. Yeah, kind of. Giving the castle the all clear sign. All right, well, won't be the first time, won't be the last time. Let's go. Oh, it's a really nice sword. Yeah. Those guys can't even get down. So like instead of like the level being surrounded by water, by death water, it's now surrounded by like slippery sand. By scooty sand. Yeah. We got any uh, skill points in this bad boy? Yes, we do. Like you, you probably noticed that tree. There was an interaction there. Uh, yeah, you bonk that tree pretty good. Yeah. So if you bonk all the right trees, you do get a skill point. Oh, and you get the coconut. Ooh, that's right. Finally, the coconut. Delicious. Put the lime and the coconut. You put the lime, you put the dragon in the coconut. And he's confused. Were so those uh, door opening souls? Is, uh, sorry? Oh, I, I saw one of the enemy's souls fly away. Ah, like, uh, yeah. But yeah, they go, they go to the flame power up. That requires like 20 souls at the end of the level. Random um, slaughter. 
I'm having a little bit more trouble with the jump here because now I'm 60 frames per second, so my jump is a little lower, but it's still possible. I'm gonna make it up here. There you go. Um, yeah. Then we have this cool part. Yeah. Now we gotta see that in HD, because that's very satisfying. All the gems exploding out of there. Oh, they should do yeah. this more often. Yeah, they, they, if they did it all the time, it would cheapen the experience. So, like, That's when true. it does happen, it's it's pretty nice. I'm just saying there's a potential for a big, like, pyramid domino effect thing. Hi, hi Snack. You, you, you got some moves, Snack. <laughs> for, a, for a man in a basket, you got the scoots. <laughs> Alright, for that, I'll let you live. <laughs> he has spirit. Let him live. Yeah. Like this, yeah, we can't we can't skip through there, even though like the, 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 they do there do appear to be some openings, but it's all like blocked off by invisible walls. Yeah, it's um, not opening enough. Mhm. Mm so oh, so we can skip this. opening like two of the two two of the doors, um, but not the gate. Um, gate too strong. Oh, that's all good. <laughs> that snake, however, no redemption. For some reason, the the hat, like the 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 purple big enemies with the with the slingshots, oh, they used to have guns, by the way. Enemies used to have guns, so they <laughs> changed that to slingshot to make it more, well, the ESRB rating maybe, to make it more family friendly. Yeah, I suppose. Um, they they used to just have like full hats, like like turbans or something, but now they. The, the hat blends in with their heads. Maybe, maybe you can see. It's yeah. very. He's kind of got like a, a do rag on, like just a floppy cloth yeah. cap. And like it Here's blends this. with their body. Yeah. Huh. Maybe it's just made of purple man skin. Yeah, maybe. They just got a little flappy flap. And there you can see it had like a had like a straight up gun. Yeah. <laughs> the swords are okay though. Yeah, swords are fine. Maybe they're just trying to. Uh, not connect them to any known groups. Nobody recognizes yeah. the floppy skin cap. Yeah. The sword nation. The grape swords. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh he screwed it around. <laughs> uh, that was strange. I didn't even notice that while, uh, while playing. Yeah, he was really bent on uh, something. Flanking? I don't know. <laughs> the camels seem very dangerous. The camels are... they're, they're weird enemies. <laughs> they got a lot of reach. Yeah, Scorch does have a lot of enemies in, in tight spaces. It's like a more combat focus level, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we got the hunter. Bad. He's just sitting there being all hunter about it. We got a lot of trees here, but not all of them are skill point trees. Only the ones without the monkeys are skill point trees. What happens if you bonk the monkey trees? Then the, the monkey falls down. Oh, <laughs> could not have timed that better. All right, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, the monkeys are part of the of, of the hunter mini game. Oh, okay. uh, but for, be, before that, I want to clear or make sure I get all I got all the trees because I want that skill point first. And we can open up the door. Fireworks. And this this is the last this is the tree I missed. This mm. one. Yeah. Delightful. Now the snakes can enjoy coconuts. <laughs> Probably kill a snake, but you know. From the Avalar Zoo, and I've Apparently Avalar has a zoo. There's only like three people in Avalar. Can you help me out? And then it makes it more weird because they're like okay. the monkeys are like real animals and like Hunter is like goofy like a it's like a goofy Pluto situation or yeah, like Hunter a, is like a funny animal. He's an anthropomorphic animal and they're just animal animals and you're a magical beast, I guess. There's a lot of layers going on there. Yeah. So we just knock them into the barrel of monkeys. I take it. Yeah, yes. Okay. Yes. It's it's only two stars. It's actually quite yeah, quite easy. This does look way easier than previous. But you told <laughs> it was me always easy. Yeah, in the in the original, it makes quite a sound when you hit the monkeys. The monkeys are more accepting of their fate these days. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll go in the barrel. 
Uh, it's, a, it's a quite chill mini game. They, they don't really attack Hunter, they just attack you. And not built vigorously either. And then coconut. We just finished the, the the side quest, and all the monkeys are already back in the tree. So yeah. good job, Hunter. <laughs> you accomplished nothing. Yeah, I mean, surprisingly, he's bad at this job too. So we're gonna try oh. to use the monkey and the sand here. It's in like an interesting combination. I was like, yeah, I was like, what if what if I get hit by the coconut while I'm riding the sand? What happens yeah, it gives then? You a little forward momentum. Oh oh. Oh, so yeah. I didn't like go out of bounds, but I I become invincible. The <laughs> stars don't disappear, and actually I can't press any buttons at all. Oh, I all my controller soul kept going. Yeah, like it's a uh, spiral. It's like stuck in a state of of being hurt, so I have no choice but to quit the level. I said that's a complete soft lock. That's a uh, the hardest soft lock we've seen so far. Yeah, there, there, there was there was like a soft lock in Spiral One where like you could get stuck in like a geometry, but like that one is, I mean that one, <laughs> it's of my very much of my own creation about me being uh, very adamant to try and make something happen. So yeah, it was deserved. Uh, now when you stumble across by accident, I guess this you're very unlucky with monkeys. Yeah, <laughs> very. Wow. Yeah. Settle down. Very aggressive. Chill out, Grimace. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're He's grimaces. Like, it's like if Grimace worked out a bunch. Just, but never like day. Just arms day. Forever. You should take cover. Also, I know that, like, apparently Hansel is just dead. <laughs> we haven't seen him since. Yeah, he's 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 there. He's he's okay. he's always been like at the top there, but like the weird the weird thing about this it's it's a little bit like in Skull's Badlands. It's like in the middle of the level. There's just you you talk to her and that's you finish the level. But like she's like really in the middle of all the enemies. So it's it's it's, it's kind of a weird position for the end of the level for the end portal to be. Yeah. Because she's not separated from the level, she's just standing in the middle of it. Kind of. Yeah, she's like it's not triggered by defeating all the enemies or something. So it's just she's just she is there. <laughs> well, she's secret, you see. Sister says you're a great secret agent, Spyro. Oh, you can talk good. We can do some spying together. Yep. Hey, Spyro, we need those flags to prove our secret mission was successful, but the flag keeper keeps stealing them. Oh, the flag you keeper, can huh? The flag keeper down. You can can't have that. Back. We should go and crisp the flesh from his bones. Five stars. Oh, oh boy, yeah, this one is not it's not that easy, no, for sure. Um, I mean, it, it can't be that hard, there's no minecarts. Yeah, like if, if we beat the level without opening any of the doors, um, and, and raising any of the flags, we actually, what what's weird is like the minigame still works, like all the doors just magic magically open during the during the minigame. And anyway, oh. There's a at the poles. Oh, there's a flag keeper buddy. He's a, a buddy. He's not a buddy. So you want that flag, eh? Flag keeper friend of me. It's a giant magic baby, Bumbo. Oh. Run, Sparrow. Oh, he just he just threw it off the bridge. No. And they changed Bombo to Bob? Oh. Hmm, also, I guess... he's not quite as much a baby anymore. Yeah... A little bit still a baby, he's kind of still wearing a diaper. Yeah, okay. He, he's a baby, he's just an alien baby now. Yeah, it's, it became... this. yeah. Oh. Wow. Very scary. Also, he talks trash when he hits you. Yeah. BM, Bombo. So this this oh, this is this is kind of hard, like very unpredictable. Where he throws the bomb and the bombs like like physics around before exploding. Yeah. Um, but the good thing about it is uh, you can just wait. 
there's no time limit. Oh, get away so from I, you, basically. Yeah. Um, we can do three times though. Great, but there are still two flags out there. And it gets harder every time, or lengthier anyway. Yeah, which is you know, it gives you more chances to screw up the longer it goes on. Does that make sense? You see Bob in the distance there. Oh, he's really out there. Yeah, but uh, unfortunately the super flame doesn't go that far, so you can't hit him that from there. Super. It's only super-ish. Oh, super-ish. Pretty okay. And then the doors, the doors open. I was explaining the doors open during the mini game, and then after the mini game they close again if they if they weren't. <laughs> yeah, it's like too. Otherwise, otherwise. You know, Bob would go through the door, I guess, and, and the minigame would break. So I guess they made sure the doors stay open. They should have just allowed the wacky, like, success-failure state combo of where he yeah. just runs into the door and falls down. Yeah. They thought of it. Thanks. And if you didn't talk to Greta yet, during there, you can, you can, you can be oh, invincible. You this. Just one more at the beginning of the level is the last flag. Hmm. So that's the length lengthiest one, but all good. Nothing you can handle. There you go. Yeah, it's it's. it's a little bit. Yeah, and he drops on us. Uh, it's it's the same path every time. So like, it, it's yeah. Oh, okay. So what you learn from the first two, you just get. You just have to add more. Yeah. Length. You just add in the beginning. There's just a new part. And you can you you can go ar around the top like these parts to make it a little easier. And anytime you can just take a break, you can just move close to him and move back, and then he will move forward for like a few grabs and just yeah, he waits for you. So if you're a little stressed, you can just recollect yourself. <laughs> yep. Chuck it in there. That's dangerous. They're pointing. Unfortunately, no debriefing with Bob. Bob just uh, throws the last flag and disappears forever. Take your stupid flag. I'm out. Bob out. <laughs> I hope you guys don't get caught and sent to sis, uh, Siberia. I almost said Scandinavia, which is not actually a prison. <laughs> Okay, I get it. You don't like your sister. Girls are icky. Okay. <laughs> Way to really embrace your stereotype there, Handel. Oh. Oh. We're gonna die? They're gonna power up. Wonder Twins, activate. Well, that's terrifying. Yeah, you don't get to see it happen. Pure red eyes. Yeah, I thought I made the, made the comparison here. Oh, shucks, we sure are in a pickle. Activate the power of gout. <laughs> Extreme marijuana usage. <laughs> okay, I guess I guess gout makes your eyes yellow, not red. Okay, I'm wrong. Sorry. Uh, well, that's you're no student of medieval noble diseases, I guess. Uh, because this is the final level of the homeworld uh, of the final talisman to collect, um, it teleports you immediately to the gulp fight. But that's not for now. That's for later. Not yet. Not yet. That's next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.